Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Mythic Legions Magnus from the Aerithyr Wave. And this figure comes in that typical Mythic Legions packaging with the awesome artwork on it. And it is collector friendly. On the right side of the package we have the Leo Odysseus faction logo. On the left side of the package we got a nice portrait of Magnus and we have some read-up information. Here we have a close-up of the read-up information, so feel free to pause it if you'd like to read it. Here we got that amazing artwork on the back of Aerithyr, and it shows all the portraits of all the figures that come in the Aerithyr wave, and we do have some read-up information at the bottom. Here we have a close-up of that read-up information, so feel free to pause it if you'd like to read it. Just like every other Mythic Legions figure, you get a brown little sash that can hold some sort of weapon. We also get those three pieces that we did not get with Vetus. We got the actual like wing attachments. And then I do believe that is for holding a shield. One of the weapons that Magnus comes with is a Egyptian Kolpesh. And this thing is awesome. We've seen it before with other figures. But it's still a unique and really badass looking sword. It's got some gold on the handle with blue wrapped around as well. And you got a lot of the sculpted in detail there which looks great, even the little rivets painted. Diving into Magnus's other weapon, and this thing, man, when I saw this, I was like, yes, he will be wielding this on my shelf. And uh, he comes with a big, ornate-looking battle axe with the design that looks super awesome. It's got like a little ruby, it looks like, in there. And the handle's done really well. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus where it's not so blurry, but look at that. The handle's awesome. It's a sexy looking battle axe. Another new piece to me besides the battle axe, we get this shield. And this thing is wild. It's got a nice red paint job. It's got the metallic rivets. I guess that's just a giant rivet, whatever you want to call it. But either way, the metal parts are painted metallic. And then we got this like really like almost like leathery looking type of texture. But they're all sculpted with runes in the black. And it looks super awesome. So either it's like obsidian or it's leather. Um, but either way, it's really, really awesome looking piece. Tons of detail. And then the inside is just silver with that corn cob pipe type of handle. Now Magnus comes with a pair of pauldrons. And I was actually surprised on how much of a paint difference this is from his armor because it's not all solid gold. He has black paint with the, uh, you know, the gold trim around it, the gold rivets, and then we got the red, and then there's a wash over the red to make the red sculpt pop, and I, I love the pauldrons. Again, I mean, Four Horsemen know how to make armor. They make the, the textures. They just know what they're doing. They've been doing this for a while now, and I think these pauldrons look awesome. It's going to be interesting on how well... Uh, they blend in with the armor, um, but I'm really thinking how this is going to contrast, and I think it's going to make that gold armor pop out even more. Here we have an up-close look at Magnus's alternate head, and it is a head that, if you're collecting Mythic Legions, you've seen it before. It's the bucket helmet, but this one is painted to fit the aesthetic of Magnus with the red cross. We got the painted rivets that are silver. The helmet's gold. We got the little feather piece on top. The feather piece just literally ports right into the top. So you could have it without it or with it. Don't know why you'd want it without it unless you're putting like maybe a different attachment. Maybe there's a spike or something from another helmet that you could put on there. But the, uh, <laughs> so I was doing, what? Well, <laughs> that's a first. So I guess that's <laughs> the helmet. I was like, why did that move so like easy? But yeah, I guess the inner part where the eye is, this is the <laughs> unique. Okay. Well, we got the bucket helmet here. And uh, again, it looks really well done. It looks awesome. Here we have an up close look at Magnus. And he is 
an awesome figure. Don't know what was going on with that helmet thing, but that's okay because I'm not really going to have him on display with the helmet on. It'll be in his hands, possibly. Um, but the head sculpt is phenomenal. The eyes have a gloss on them to make them look wet. The beard, the mustache, everything on this figure is sculpted beautifully. Um, the only downside, I would say, is that little ball. You can literally see like that's that's where the head pops on and you can see the ball very well but it allows that articulation of the head which is nice but this head sculpt freaking gorgeous love the paintwork on the beard and mustache the armor the armor is awesome as well you got all these painted rivets i mean look at all the crazy detail you got there bunch of slash marks and damage to the armor you know Magnus isn't just sitting around in his gold armor looking fancy. Like he he is in the in the trenches. Armor is just so well done. Uh, Mythic Legions does a hell of a job. The four horsemen with their armor and stuff like that just looks beautiful. I love the chainmails painted. And again, when you're dealing with the named characters. You're really dealing with a lot of paint and detail. When you start getting an army builders. They're lighter on the paint, but you could paint them yourself technically. Um, we got this nice like fur belt going around, painted with the wash, with the leather. Even the leather has its texture on it as well. Looking awesome. The back of his armor even has some slashes and stuff, painted rivets. Basically, the armor has a wash throughout, which is great. Uh, it, it, just the back of his armor looks good. Still more damage to the armor. The chainmail painted very nicely. I mean, this is what you get with Mythic Legions. Like, you get your quality paint and detail. And the articulation is pretty solid, in my opinion. A lot of people might want that double-jointed elbow and everything like that. But, you know, you get plenty of articulation out of these. Look at the sculpt work in those legs. The rivets, again, all painted. All painted on the armor. Looking so good. This figure is freaking gorgeous. And the gold actually looks like gold. Now to dive into some articulation. As you saw, his head is on a ball joint. Um, his head basically can come off. The neck comes off. It has like a pivot at the neck. I just wanted to show you guys because of the armor. So the actual neck can pivot, but his head can move on the ball joint as well. Tons of articulation. Look at that attitude. And then he can look up quite a bit. Does get a little bit of lollipop syndrome, not going to lie, um, because of how this is done. But again, I'm pretty much going to have him pretty much standing straight on. But the lollipop syndrome on this figure does bug me. You, you won't have that with the helmet head. But uh, yeah, it's definitely because of the head sculpt, you got crazy lollipop. Arms can go up all the way. They're on that disc. Full rotation, even though this part comes over, it does not affect the articulation. Single jointed elbows that you get you 90 degrees, no pins, looking nice and clean, and then it pivots at the elbow. We get forearm rotation, we get wrist rotation, and we get wrist bend. And uh, <laughs> that's something that's cool. And another thing, I just want to, I, I got to show you guys. Let's let it not be blurry. There we go. Look at, uh, when I say the rivets are all painted, even on his hands and everything. They're like they, they put all that detail into their figures, which is crazy. Now let's get his loin cloth out of there. It just unplugs. It's a nice thing about a lot of the Mythic Legions. Their loin cloths are interchangeable. Let's get these arms out of the way, too. Um, he has the hula hoop ball joint waist so he can lean back he can lean forward plenty of back and forth you got some side to side but he can overall just do that whole hula hoop motion this is a looser piece i think it unplugs out of the back but i'm not going to try um because i know the the goblin ones have that have like the spikes and stuff they can pour it out but this one almost seems attached i can't really tell but i'm not going to try in case i break it um, he could do the splits like that. Not a fan of the style of like hips. They're not as bad as some other figures that I've reviewed, but you know, when they're down, they're fine. And then you have that loin piece that covers a lot of that. So you're not really going to see it. 
And then we get the thigh cut right here. Nice and hidden, looking clean. He can kick up and do a Spartan kick. We get the single jointed knee. And again, when it folds down, it looks good. The armor is looking nice and uh, clean. Even has uh, there's pivot at the the knee. Well, I guess it's sort of like the calf. It's down below. You get the pivot there. We get ankle bend and pivot there. So a good amount of articulation in a very heavily armored figure. Speaking of heavily armored, I put the pauldrons on it. We got the battle axe, his shield. This figure all armored up is pretty badass. He looks like a tank. He literally looks like he'd just go through hordes and hordes of goblins just hacking them down with that axe. Again, I could use this sword. To me, it's cool. This is a really cool sword, but this, this is what Magnus should be on the battlefield. This is a sexy looking figure. I would never have thought that I would have liked a gold armor figure, but the way the four horsemen do the gold and they add the wash and stuff, it's gold. And it's not crappily cheddar cheese, craft macaroni and cheese, plastic. But this thing is full-on beast mode. When it comes to Magnus, he's definitely an amazing addition to my Leodiceus army. His armor looking very tanky. It's gold, so he has that status. So when he's on the battlefield, people know he's coming from uh, a higher status usually than themselves. Because, I mean, he, he reminds me, gives me the vibes of the Lannisters. Because the Lannisters had, like, gold and stuff like that. So, like, the gold armor stuff is definitely, you know, you, you know when you see him on the battlefield where he's coming from and who he is. And I think that, that is awesome just to have that type of presence. And he's going to have that presence on your shelf as well. Because, I mean, how many solid gold armored figures do you have in your collection? Probably not that many. So the figure is awesome. The gripes that I have, I mean, the helmet with the piece that came out, I could glue it. That's not a big deal, but I'm not going to. Because with that piece out, the eyes don't stay black in the helmet. They actually, it seems like a hollow helmet. So if I'm hold, having him hold the helmet... It's going to look like a hollow helmet instead of just the solid black eyes, which I'm okay with. I dig it. If it really bothers me, I'll glue it in place. It's not that big a deal. But what the big deal is with this figure is the lollipop syndrome with this head sculpt. The head sculpt's beautiful, painted well. Everything is just that lollipop look when you're trying to articulate. So you got to be careful and cautious if you're going to articulate them for fig photography so it doesn't come off as a lollipop head. But other than that, this figure is beautiful. I love it. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Mythic Legion's Magnus from the Aether Wave. If you guys are enjoying my content, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe. It helps the channel grow and evolve so I can put more back into the channel. And also make sure you hit the silver bell notification so you know when I'm posting up a new video. Go ahead and check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles for all your collectible needs. Links are down below, so check that out. And most importantly... I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.